Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Woodruff. Today in skills, we're going to be starting a new unit. We're on unit four. We're going to start with lesson one. Let's talk about our learning goals. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to segment words with two or three sounds. You will be able to say the correct sounds for the lowercase n. You will be able to identify words with the initial n sound and you'll be able to write the spelling for the mm sound. Are you ready to get started? Today we're going to start with something brand new. We've been working on blending sounds to make words. K at cat. Now we're going to work on the opposite of blending. We're going to have the word, for instance, our word to start with today will be go, and we're going to break that word down to get the sounds. To do that, I'm going to hold up my two fingers, kind of like you're making a number two, and you're going to always go left to right because that's how we read, and we're going to say the sounds. So our first word is go. Are you ready? G, O, go, we did it. Isn't that neat? You try it with me. G, O. Good job, boys and girls. Let's try another word together. And this time I will put it up on the screen so you can see it. Our word will be no. So you need to hold up your two fingers. N, O. No, we did it. Nice job. Okay, let's try say. S, A. Not bad. And let's do one more just to make sure we have it. Day, D, A. Nice job, boys and girls. It's always fun when you can learn a new skill, isn't it? Okay, now let's try it with three. So we're gonna work with three fingers. So our words are going to have how many sounds? That's right, three sounds. Okay, let's try it. The first one I will do and then you can do it with me. So my word is cat. K, a, t. Okay, now you try it with me. K, a, t. All right, you've got it. Let's try another word. Bat. B, a, t. Nice. Okay, now this is Bat. B, a, t. We did that wonderfully. Let's try one last one just to make sure we have this one too. Practice is very important. Our word now is ben. B, a, n. That was ben. We did it. Nice work, boys and girls. Give yourself a round of applause. Let's move on to our sound review. Let's start with our first sound. When you see it, just say the sound. And when the picture comes up, say the picture. Mmm. Mat. T. Tag. D. Dad. Cat, g, dog, i, dig, a, mad, a, mom. Okay, let's start our sound chart. Let's put in our sounds to get us going for our chaining. Mm, a. D, A, K, G, I. Okay, boys and girls. Here is a picture of our new sound. Our new sound says N. Mm. Say it with me, boys and girls. N. Mm. One more time. N. Mm. Did you notice that if your mouth is opened or closed? N. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty closed. 
You, what you're making the end sound, excuse me, the way you're making the end sound is by taking the tip of your tongue and touching the, the bump in the back of your front teeth and you're blowing the air out through your nose. So it goes, mmm. Okay, good job. I wanted to say a few words that begin with the mmm sound and I want you to repeat them. Nut. Nice not okay now i'm going to say the n sound at the end of words so listen closely we have fun run tin all right nice job boys and girls so i wanted to read a funny story to you that's really kind of silly and every time you hear the mm sound, I want you to touch your nose, all right? Let's see who can get all of the, the nose touches in. Here we go. My new neighbor has a baby named Ned. The noisy baby never stops crying. That Ned is a noisy baby. I wish noisy Ned would take a nap. Did you get them all? Okay, let's do it again. I'm going to read it just a little bit faster. So you have to listen closely. Here we go. My new neighbor has a baby named Ned. The noisy baby never stops crying. That Ned is a noisy baby. I wish noisy Ned would take a nap. Good job. That was kind of silly, wasn't it? So before we get to our writing of the N sound, I want to know, do you think the sound N is a consonant or a vowel? That's right, it's a consonant. Okay, so we're going to start with drawing our N sound. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to practice in the air first with our magic finger. So hold it up. We're going to draw a straight line down and then we're going to do a camel hump. Ready? Straight line down, camel hump. Okay, now boys and girls, you're going to need to get a pencil and your worksheet from your Skills 4 workbook. It's page 1.1. If you don't have it, that's okay. All you need is a blank piece of paper to practice drawing your N mm sound. So I'm going to try to do it right here for you on my whiteboard to show you how it can be done. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I'm going to tip it down a little. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a straight line down and then a camel hump. Straight line down and a camel hump. Straight line down and a camel hump. Do you see how I did that? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to practice tracing your N mm sound and the word not at the bottom. And when you're finished, you may unpause your video so we can move on to the rest of our lesson. Just be sure to take a picture of your paper to put it in your portfolio on Dojo. Okay. So here we go with our pocket chart chaining for reading. If we have the sounds n, a, d, n, a, d, nod, and we replace the d sound with the t sound, what sound will we get? That's right, we'll get not. I'm sorry, Matt, what word will we get? Not. If we replace the n in not with d, what word will it be? Dot. Good job, boys and girls. And remember, if you have trouble figuring out the word after you've replaced it, go ahead and blend it in. D, at, dot. Okay, so if we replace the d sound with the g sound, what word are we going to get? Got, nice job. 
okay? Uh, what's going to happen, I wonder, if we change g to k? What word will we get? That's right, k -at. Cot. Very good. Now, what happens if we change the vowel sound? If we're going from a in cot to a, what word will we get? Cat. That's right. Okay. If we change the k in cat to m, mm, what comes next? Mat. All right. If we change the t in mat, the ending sound, to d, what do you think we're going to make? Mad. That's right. Now, if we change the m in mad to d, what will we get? Dad. Now let's change the vowel again. If we change a in dad to i, what word will we get? Did. You did it. Round of applause. Woohoo. Okay, boys and girls, let's move on to minimal pairs. The m sound and the n sound are very hard to tell apart sometimes when you hear them spoken. So we are going to practice deciding which sound is which. So our first pair is nut and mutt. So what sound does nut start with? If you said the n sound, you're correct. So that means mutt starts with the m sound. Okay, let's try another. We have net and, or excuse me, this is Met then net. Which one does met start with? M mm or n? Mm? That's right. It says the m mm sound. And net says the n mm sound. Let's try mirror and knee. M mm for mirror and n mm for knee. Good job, boys and girls. Let's try another. How about nice and mice? What does nice start with? Mmm, if you got that right, pat yourself on the back. So that means mice starts with mmm. All right, and our last one. How about no and mo? No, mo. No starts with m, mm, and mo starts with m. Mm. All right. So, boys and girls, let's finish our worksheet. It's on the back of your activity page 1.1. We need to write the correct word underneath the picture. So, our first picture is a picture of a dog. Where is the dog, the word dog? What does dog start with? D, d. So we need to look for dog on our worksheet. And then cross it off when you've used it. What is this picture of next? It is a dot on a box. The picture is of on. So what sound are we looking for? Ah. Very good. On. Okay. And the next picture is a picture of a of a cat. We knew that one. Cat starts with k. So do we have? We sure do. We have it left. We're going to put cat under cat. So we have one word left. Where is that dot? In the box. That's right. So you're going to write in underneath that one. Nice work, boys and girls. Okay, we're all done for now. All you need to do is go to your Google form and make sure you answer the questions and 
turn your work in to your portfolio for all of your teachers.